battle for Bihar, but also the fascinating battles taking place across India in these by-elections. The most crucial was Madhya Pradesh. 28 seats that went to the polls, which would have determined whether Shivraj Singh Chauhan gets to stay on as chief minister or not, because these were mostly Congress rebels that left along with senior Congress leader Jyotiraditya Sindhya and joined the BJP. The latest numbers suggest that the BJP is home dry. They just needed to win nine seats to retain their majority. They're leading in 19 of the 28, the Congress just in nine. Jyotiraditya Sindhya is uh, on the show with us tonight. Jyotiraditya Sindhya, thanks for joining us. I believe uh, many of those leads are coming from your area of Gwalior Chambal. I believe 16 of those 28 seats were from Gwalior Chambal and the BJP is doing quite well. But uh, Jyotir Sindhya, I'm kind of curious because you've been such a diehard congressman all your life. First time you had to actually go out and campaign against the Congress and for the BJP. Was that difficult? Well, it, de it depends on what your uh, aim in life is. If your aim in life is politics, then maybe what you're saying is uh, maybe true. But if your aim in life is public service and you deem politics to only be a route towards fulfilling that aim and that goal, mm. then absolutely not. Because uh, my experience within the Bharatiya Janata Party mm. over the last eight months, where uh, I have had the privilege of uh, uh, having the guidance of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, mm. uh, our President J.P. Naddaji, uh, Home Minister Amit Shahji, as well as working uh, side by side under the leadership of Shivraj Singh Chauhan with a very sure. progressive agenda, with a very uh, agenda towards the upliftment uh, mm. of the underprivileged. Uh, and we have shown that. And therefore, it's been a comparison of a 15-month corruption-ridden government Okay. which abdicated the role and responsibility of development completely mm -hmm. uh, in contrast with a six-month government which has only worked on development and progress, A, at the state level and B, at the constituency level. Okay. And therefore, you're seeing this overwhelming uh, verdict. Uh, and but, if you ask me very candidly, yes. uh, the credit for that goes, of course, first of all, fully to the 8 crore people of Madhya Pradesh who mm. have reposed their confidence in us. Uh, and secondly, and most importantly, the uh, arm karikarta of the Bharat Janata Party that took yes. upon itself, himself and herself, that as if it were his or her election, okay. and worked tirelessly, unitedly, uh, to but, make uh, sure that this result is possible. But but now what happens to, now the result uh, is in and Shivraj Singh Chauhan is home dry, what happens to Jyotiraditya Sindhya? Cabinet? Well, I have always, Ca I have always cabinet been a work. Position? I have always been a, I have always been a worker on the ground, uh, and I deem it my privilege to be uh, a worker on the ground uh, for the Bharati Janata Party, and that uh, was my role uh, earlier as a public servant, and it sure. is my role today, and I hope it will be uh, that's until a very, my last days. That's a very diplomatically answered question, uh, Jyotir Sindhya. Come on. Uh, it's not. It's it, it's it's it, the you, truth you, because it if can't you have just seen be... me and, and 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 you have known me now for almost twenty years, uh, mine has never been a, a race uh, about a chair, uh, unlike uh, uh, some of the other people who I don't want to name uh, in in the Congress Party. Uh, it has never been about a nameplate. It has never been about a post. Sure. It has always been about a path of public service. But about uh, and therefore. In life, you must always do your best, mm -hmm. uh, and then leave uh, leave uh, that decision to uh, to others as to what uh, what uh, path they choose for you. No, no. But uh, listen, public service aside, what about ideology? I mean, how have you managed to make your peace with being part of a party where you'll have the prime minister say things like, you know, those people who don't allow you to say Jai Shri Ram, teach them a lesson. Uh, talks about Tukre Tukre gang, urban naxals. You have the Uttar Pradesh chief minister saying those who practice love jihad. He said this during the campaign trail. Unka antim sanskar, unka ram naam satya kara diya jayega. Are you okay with all this? Well, I, I don't think the prime minister, uh, uh, the prime minister is the prime minister of India. The prime minister is the prime minister of 130 crore people. Uh, and I believe that the people of India uh, believe in the principles and the morals of the Prime Minister, that he represents uh, every single person. And as far as chanting Jai Shri Ram is concerned, what is wrong with that? Uh, 
if uh, if one is secular does that mean that you cannot chant jai shri ram no no i, I don't see i no don't see where this intellectual debate no is, uh, is that. going in our country no but that's what that's what no you one were, is saying you that, can't what that's but that's but that's what you just said on your show no no i'm right? saying and so why for it's almost seen as if it's 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 wrong to chant that why is it wrong everyone is entitled to their belief and their faith actually and that's it's, what it's, and that's no, what our nobody is saying it's wrong that's the whole point the prime minister is bringing it up just sim- i mean we clearly know what the signaling of that is you just well, bring it up the signal is very clear as a the red herring that clear those that who are everyone stopping you right from to, chanting jai shri ram who is stopping has anybody? a right to everyone has a right to profess their own belief in their own faith and okay. as far as the the word of uh, tukre tukre gang is concerned that is the reality there were a group of people who were saying that bharat ke tukre tukre ho and i think if if uh, you and i even on a tv show can uh, try and defend that i think that's uh, to me okay. is, uh, is is something that's uh, uh, sacrilege okay i'm not anyone who talks about the unity of our country being dismembered okay uh, should be should be condemned in the harshest words uh, possible okay i i'm not i'm still not sure what that has to do with the bihar elections though but anyway uh, shekhar gupta wants to come in as well neither do i but i i but you brought that up well the prime minister <laughs> brought the prime minister brought it up that's why i brought up uh shekhar gupta but i but i think it has to do with the fact that the unity uh, of india has to be maintained and people who have so that I, sort of thought i have a question not, to ask be, you should not have any the, have the, any space and the question is how long does it take a politician how how long does it take a politician to become a member of one party to another because we had a couple of candid moments with you campaigning particularly when you put your hand up and said hath ke panje par chhap lagao so how long does it take for a lifelong politician you've been around you look very young uh, you are very young much younger than us but you've been around a long time in politics when i left the indian express the first time i went to india today for the next 6 months i was i would call and say i'm calling from the indian express so how long does it take a politician to make that transition that is the one part the second is that there are complete ideological differences between the bjp and the congress uh that's okay that that's how politics is run so what has surprised you now that you have come and embraced a new ideology have you now realized that the ideology you were following earlier was a sham uh because you used to call this one a sham or are you now realizing that the ideology that you follow now is closer to what you thought you were doing earlier okay so shekhar that's a that first of all uh Uh, nice to to speak with you after a very very long time uh so the the three parts to your question um uh, the first question the first part is about my age and uh, uh that's a conundrum uh, because uh, even though I, i i may look young i am uh, now approaching uh, sort of budapa uh, <laughs> and that that's a conundrum that i have to deal with on on a daily basis but uh, but the but that aside i think i'm, the, I'm happy if i second, could just look sec- young <laughs> the, the 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 second the second part of your question and i think that's a very very important question which is how long does it take to uh, to adjust and you're absolutely right uh, in any organization when you move from one uh, to take your example when you move from one firm to the other it takes it does take time to assimilate to uh, culturally integrate uh, and i don't want to dismiss that uh at all because it's a very important for uh, a cultural fit to happen because only when a cultural integration and a cultural fit happens are you actually able to deliver and if that fit does not happen then uh the union is 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 a failure um uh, uh and to just to just make the point uh in many ways uh, uh when we talk about the union of air india and Uh, indian airlines two organizations with completely two different cultures uh, uh just 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 to give you an analogy and here too we mm. had almost about 1 and 1/2 lakh people sure. leave the congress party uh, some very senior people apart from the 25 mlas of which six by the way were cabinet ministers as you very well know uh, it's probably for the first time in indian uh, uh, political history that a a government that has been formed right. after 15 long years yes. loses the confidence of 25 lawmakers within a short period of 15 months of which 
Six are cabinet ministers. <laughs> that means 28% of your strength. Right. That's the kind of chief minister that Mr. Kamal Nath was. But so, that aside, what, uh, what? I think that cultural fit uh, and integration took us uh, a period of time. And I must give full credit to the leadership of the Bharatiya Janata Party right from the top, uh, from the president, Mr. N uh, J.P. Nadda, to Mr. Amit Shah, to Shivraj Singh Ji, to our state I, president, actually, Vishnudar Sharma Ji, that worked assiduously at making uh, this cultural fit happen. Okay. And that is the result of which you saw the verdict in the election because the BJP worked as one single unit in this election. Okay, so, uh, the, so the, the transition, the, the, so you explain the, the, the basis or the time of the period of the transition, but listening to you, Jyotir Aditya Sindhya, I have to say the transition seems almost complete. I mean, it's still hard for us to get our head around you sounding very much like a BJP voice, but the, the, the transformation does seem to be complete. But uh, thank you. It is because I, I, be, I believe in, uh, at the end of the day, uh, uh, Shekhar, and uh, I, I also do believe that at the end of the day, you are in, more than in politics, you are in the role of public service. And I believe that if a... Uh, uh, the path to public service, I yeah. believe, uh, as far as India is concerned, is very safe and secure and strong in the hands of Prime Minister Narendra Modi okay. uh, and and President J.P. Nadda and what they have been able to achieve for our country over the last five years and right. will do so in the future. All right. Okay. Jyotir Sindhya, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us.